Yo, what's going on guys, Donnie Bling, and today I'm going to be showing you the best SMG class setup in World War II. It doesn't get any better than this, but before we get into the video, make sure you press that like and press that subscribe button, and here we go. Shoot me something, homie, when you dropping that. Maybe I could be the biggest rapper working in the business. Wait, I never thought of that. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. When that bottle pours, I just keep drinking this. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys the best SMG class setup in World War II. The gun that you're going to be using for this is the WAF 28. It doesn't get any better than this gun. Extremely high fire rate. It's very close quartered. But the attachments and the loadout that I'm going to be showing you guys, it's going to add a little more range to the gun and give you a little more damage over range. And it's also going to be showing you guys how I run this class and why it's the best. The class that I run, I run Mountain Division, Basic Training Prime, and I have the Trigger Happy variant of the WAF 28. Make sure if you want this uh, variant, anybody can get it. You just have to collect everything from the collections. And when you're done collecting the first six, you get the trigger heavy variant for the wall for the last collection. But the three attachments that I run, I run grip, advanced rifling, and extended mag. And I'm going to explain why I run these. In my opinion, you shouldn't be running anything other than these three attachments on this gun. You need grip. Because this gun kicks a lot, it has the highest fire rate in the game already. It does kick a lot, that's why it's a super close range gun. But if you add grip, it'll steady it a little more. It'll help you get a little more kills over a little more distance too. That's why I run grip. You definitely need that as first attachment. Advanced rifling, you definitely need that too. Because again, it helps with the accuracy and range. Because again, it's such a, a close quarter gun that you want to be able to get a little more kills over range. And it just helps it be an overall better SMG. And extended mag because this fire rate is insane on this gun. And you definitely will burn through ammo like crazy with this gun. And extended mags helps you so you don't have to reload after killing every single person. You're definitely going to have to reload after killing two people. But... You'll be able to kill one person and not have to reload instantly and you can turn and kill another person, maybe even two more before you have to reload. So that's why you want to be running extended mag. And then secondary doesn't really matter too much. I just use the machine pistol because it's my favorite and lethal doesn't really matter either. I've been running the sticky bomb lately. Make sure when you're using the WAF, just don't use any other attachments than the, one, than the ones I said because... Rapid fire is pointless because it's already it already shoots faster than any other gun in the game, so you don't need that. You're not going to be needing steady aim for hip fire because, again, it's a close quarter gun. So when you're going to be hip firing nine times out of ten, they're going to be right on you. So you're not going to need more accuracy anyway. Um, full metal jackets pointless. I think everybody determined that right when the game came out. Um, reflex, you don't need that because this gun already has great iron sights and. The variants for it have even better iron sights, so that's pointless. Just like the lens sight, the same thing. It's pointless because the iron sights are great on this gun. And quick draw, I'm pretty sure this is one of the fastest like aiming guns, ADSing guns in the game. When you pull it up, it already kind of feels like you have quick draw on anyway, so that's pointless. You definitely want to be up close and personal with everybody. Make sure to be hugging the walls a lot. You don't want people to see you in an open line of sight because that's when they're going to be able to beat you with longer range guns obviously everybody knows the bar and the stg rolls this game this is pretty much a spray and pray gun and you're going to be taking out multiple people at a time you're going to be right up on them and that's the way you want to play with this gun you don't want to get into range battle the advanced rifling and grip is going to help you at range but that's not guaranteeing that you're going to win a range battle every single time this is definitely a close <clears throat> to medium range gun you don't want to get in anything past that because it's just not going to work out for you I use Mountain because it's going to help you stay invisible, it helps you stay off the map, it helps you stay away from score streaks, and if you get it to the fourth level, you get silent movement, which is key for this loadout. You make sure you definitely want to max out your Mountain division. You're pretty much going to be a spawn trap and machine with this. Um, you're going to be in the enemy spawn a lot, and silent movement just helps you so nobody's going to be able to hear you, nobody's going to really know where you're at. The only time they're going to know where you're at is when you're shooting and that's kind of pointless because if you're shooting you're gonna be killing somebody and that's pointless then because they're gonna know where you're at if they're getting shot that's the way I use this class it's definitely my favorite loadout in the game nobody's gonna tell me different this is by far the best gun for the spray and pray spawn trapping up close and personal play style 
and that fits me perfectly. I'm telling you right now, there's not going to be a better loadout than this. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what gun you want me to do a loadout on next. It's been your boy Bling. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.